Hi, I'm Ash with From Bedroom to Banger. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a vocal effect like... Just like his song Faded. And I'm going to be doing it with a cheap condenser mic and a ton of effects. So sorry to the stock plugin gang. And on top of that, I'm going to do the whole video with this effect on. This one's going to be a thick one. Just kidding. Zoo's one of my favorite artists, favorite vocalists, someone I definitely look up to. So I'm really excited to show you how this is done. I'm going to show you how to record it, how to sing it, and then what effects I use in order to get that full faded effect. So first thing I started with was to make the instrumental. Just kick and bass, but we're not going to worry about that. Talking about the vocal. Really important for me to show you how this sounds when it's raw. Baby, I'm wasted. All I want to do is drive on to... Bro! This is what I'm working with. First off, you notice that I'm singing it in a higher register, or what we call falsetto. So you sing it like this. You sing it like that, that's the best way to do it. I'm noticing though, 3% of you are 13 to 17, so that means you just have to sing it normally. Boom, roasted. Everybody else, just sing falsetto. It sounds weird right now, but don't worry, we'll add effects. And personally, I also like to record a second take, just singing normally. I'm wasted, all I wanna do is drive on to you, baby. I'm really good sometimes. Roar! Normally when I get here, I like to fix any timing errors, and that's what I've done with this little cut here, and that's just making sure everything is on click. I'm faded, baby. But if you're a great vocalist, you won't need to do that. Remember, getting the take right is faster than fixing it in post. See you. Fix it in post. Do it live. This is the process. I go in and I'm gonna tune the vocals as well. For this, I don't have auto-tune and I'm using Waves Tuner, but most tuning programs will have the same sort of settings. You wanna set it to the correct key of the song. In this case, Zoo's Faded is in D minor. If you ever need to figure out the key of a song, there's a great website called TuneBat and it will show you what you need to know. All right, so we set the tuner to D minor. Waves has scanned the vocal, you select it all, and then I turn the speed down. And if you put it all the way to the fastest, you get that T-Pain share effect. I'm wasted. But we want a little bit less of that, so we're gonna turn it up maybe around there. Baby. So it still gives you that little bit of auto-tune effect, but not to the point where it is over the top. And I find around that speed works best. So, got a great sounding vocal, it's in tune, it's in time, but it doesn't sound anything like Zoo. Here is the signature way to do that. The Zoo signature sound comes from adjusting the formant of the vocal without adjusting the pitch. So this is really important because I looked and I looked and unfortunately Ableton does not have any stock plugins that adjust the formant without adjusting pitch. So we're gonna bust out the big guns or the little gun, the little altar boy. So check this out here. Formant the vocal. Baby, I'm we're going to the zoo. That's the essential base of the sound. There is a workaround in Ableton. If you record your vocal a few semitones differently from the key that you're actually recording in, then you can use Complex Pro and then adjust the formants here and transpose it back down to the original key. But that's a lot of work. I'm not gonna do that when you can just use little Alter Boy. I know in FL, FL Pitcher adjusts just the foreman and not the pitch, and so does Logic. Ableton, come on. I love you, but come on. Going to the zoo. So now we just need to bring this vocal up and in your face, especially with this effect. I find that OTT, a baby, really brings out the harmonics and all of the juiciness that little altar boy has added. <laughs> Freaking mint. And I've turned the amount just a bit because I don't want it to be super extreme. Next, to do a little bit of a micro shift because we want to widen it. So this is another plugin from Sound Toys that really, really quickly widens a vocal or whatever you put on it. And very lastly, reverb. Baby, 
And just a bit of extreme EQ here. You've noticed that I've pumped it up like a crazy amount to get that hiss. I'm also cutting out the lows here to help the bass and the kick come through because this instrumental is literally just kick and bass. That's why when bringing in vocals like this, you wanna make sure to keep your instrumentals super simple because this will take up a lot of space and also reduce the gain. This is really important. If you're gonna go crazy with EQ, my suggestion is you use the gain to make sure you're not clipping. Lastly, in the original song, he does add a second layer during the second part of the drop and it's essentially the exact same plugins except he's turning the formant up instead of down. <laughs> and that's how the zoo vocal effect is done. It's a really cool effect to experiment with. Just remember, these aren't hard rules. These are just little things that you can do to your vocal to spice them up and try to make stuff your own. That is it. Shout out to all my patrons. I'm seeing a lot of new faces and welcome to the family. We've got the brand new Crybang treasure coffer available and that comes with a ton of goodies. Please consider supporting the Patreon if you want to support the channel. But if free is more your style, just like the video, hit the subscribe button, it really, really helps out the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, I'm seeing your DMs. Other than that, that's it. I will be back soon. Enjoy life. Stay safe. Goodbye.